What's up guys? I'm Lauren from It's the Kellys and today I am doing a highly requested video and it's kind of funny because I have to go to the airport to film it and I'm not flying anywhere. <laughs> today Brian and I are on our way to the airport with all of the luggage that I own to show you guys how it fits in all of the airport sizers for different airlines. So the bags I'm gonna bring with me today are my base weekender bag, my base mini convertible weekender bag, my base backpack, and my base carry-on luggage. I also thought that I would bring my e-bags mother load backpack because it's very interesting to see how that one fits in all of the different sizers. So I am planning on going to Delta, Spirit, United, American Airlines, Frontier, and Southwest. And then we'll see if any other airlines just happen to have sizers sitting there, but those are the main airlines that go out of my airport of Detroit. I am not bringing any checked luggage with me because those don't need to fit in airport sizers. Those usually have to be weighed. If you guys aren't subscribed to this channel already, you really should be. It is my subscribers that did indeed ask for me to go to the airport and show these and I made this video just for them. So if you need anything travel related or packing related at all, please let me know down in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you soon. All right, let's go to the airport. really sad being at an airport when you're not actually flying anywhere. Come on Brian, we have to catch our flight. I think people think we're going. Some are dumb because we have too much baggage. <laughs> we do, we have one, two, three, four, five bags. We didn't even take that much for Europe for two weeks. <laughs>
verdict for the Weekender bag is yes. She would let it work for a personal item. Southwest doesn't have one for personal items, it just has for carry-on. So let's check it out. Obviously. Also when we were here, some lady was getting screamed at at JetBlue because all of her luggage was severely overweight and she was gonna have to pay like $600 for more luggage. It's crazy. All right, we are finished at the one terminal and now we're going over to the other terminal which has Delta, KLM, and Air France. What plane do I go in? It's not looking like the Delta terminal really has any. I'm definitely seeing kiosks to check your bag in, and I'm definitely seeing scales to weigh your bag, but I'm not really seeing any sizing bins. So I guess with Delta, you are A-OK -okay as long as you look at the sizing requirements online. So for Air France, you can do a carry-on cabin bag and a personal item, but they have to weigh less than 20 pounds total. So that is where you can get in trouble on Air France. Now Air France and Delta are a partner, so you can fly Delta there and Air France back. So, pack light. All right, we're home. So that was pretty interesting, right? And of course, I just had the bags filled up with generic things. That e-bags backpack isn't completely full to the max, so it fitting in certain bins, if it's filled to the max, it might not fit. But I mean, really, as long as it fits in the sizers, you should be good to go. And I would probably fight it if they said no just shove it in there, you know? <laughs> Again, a personal item is something that is supposed to go under the seat in front of you and not up overhead. And your carry-on bag is supposed to go up in the overhead compartment. If you are checking a bag, then I don't really like you. I'm just kidding. That sounds really mean. I just don't understand why people would check bags. I really don't, especially right now. It's so crazy to check a bag. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you soon. Thanks so much.